Okay, now that we did a complete uninstall the more advanced method, now we just need to reinstall the software to resolve any kind of issues. So we will insert the GeoVision disk into the computer, and it should autoplay. Now note, there is a found new hardware wizard that pops up. Go ahead and just ignore that. We don't really use that method for installing the drivers. The GeoVision disk has an auto driver installer. Okay. Most of the time Windows automatically pops up with the CD's contents. If it does not, you just go to start and then go to my computer, locate the DVD drive, double click on the GV or the version 8.3 DVR. Okay, we're going to first install the drivers. So click on that and then go to install or remove GeoVision GV card series driver. Click the install button. This will install the drivers and it does take a little bit. A bunch of windows will pop up and go away and so on. We're not going to touch anything until it says driver installed successfully or installed successfully. Okay, now that it says install successfully, just click exit. Click the little home button to get back to the main page. And then we're going to choose the third option, install GeoVision version 8.3.0.0 system. Choose yes to the license agreement. And then click on install main system. And then we'll locate our card series. I have a GV800 in this computer. If you have a 650, you want to choose a 650, or if you have a GV600, you choose that. The uh, easiest way to tell how, what kind of card you have is by looking at the box. It should be marked in red, or you can give us a call and we can look up your account. Okay, so I'm going to choose the GV800. Um, oh, yeah very important you choose your card series. If you choose an 800 and you have a 600, when the computer reboots, you're gonna get a key pro error. So if you do get that error, this is why. Let's click next and choose NTSC. Now, I'm not gonna go over these video formats, but NTSC is widely used in America. So let's go ahead and click next and then choose 1024 by 768. Unless you know the resolution on your Windows desktop, just choose 1024 by 768. Click Next. And then the destination directory. It's all OK. Click Next. Click Next. And if you want GeoVision to start up when Windows does, you'll choose Yes. If you do not want it to start up when Windows starts and you just want to start the program when you want to, choose No. I'm going to choose Yes in this demo. And choose No to install the IR remote control. That takes a minute to install once it's done installing. Uh, and I think that's about it. So once you get the window that pops up and says to restart the computer, make sure there's a check mark next to yes and click finish and the computer reboot. Okay, the computer's gonna reboot after it's done rebooting. We'll go ahead and configure and then repair the database. Okay, after you completely uninstalled and then reinstalled the program and you had to reboot, go ahead and click on the key to log into the multicam system. And your password should still be the same as it was. There's a few things we need to adjust. First is going to be the hammer and the screwdriver. I'm going to go down to tools and then video signal diagnostics and disable the video loss beep. Now we're going to go ahead and go back down to tools and video signal diagnostics. We're going to disable the video signal watchdog. Now we're going to go to the hammer and the screwdriver again, go to general settings, system configure, and make sure there's a check mark next to start monitoring, the webcam server, and post and pre record. And then we're going to go ahead and go to camera record settings. And right down underneath monitor control, make sure there's a check mark next to record video. It's set on motion detect. 
and click the little icon next to it and go down to Geo H264 and then press the arrow to go to all cameras or the little finger. Okay, let's go ahead and press OK. And then we'll click on the net network icon, go to webcam server, and then go to server, change that port to whatever the port was, whether it was 81 or 8000 or if it was left on 80. Then go up to video, change the maximum image size to actual size, go to JPEG, make sure there's a check mark next to create JPEG slash GIF images. Let's go ahead and press OK. And everything else should still be the same. Let's go ahead and check that. General settings, system configure, set location, storage group folder. OK. Now if you did have it set on a different drive, you'll have to remap it, it looks like. So click on the add new path and then Let's go to where we're storing these. Let's go to video one, press OK, and remove that path, press OK. Set location, database folder, add new path, and then locate the storage folder for the database. Click OK. OK again, and then press OK. Okay, again, and okay. Now we'll have to do the same thing for the log settings. So click on the hammer and a screwdriver, general settings, and then system log setting. I like to uncheck the keep days. Go to set location, add new path, and then locate the log location. It's okay, it's okay. Now, if you did not do any of this prior, you probably don't have to do this again, but this is how we normally set up our computers out, out of Geo or out of Palm Bit. So now click on the hammer and screwdriver, go to general settings, make sure system idle protection setting is turned on. Very important. Press OK. And then we'll go ahead and click the power button in the bottom left and go to exit. Now that we got everything configured, we'll have to restore that database folder. So we'll go to Start, All Programs, go to the GV folder, whether it's 600, 650, or 800, or 1480, and locate the Repair Database Utility. Click on that, and then type in your username and password for GeoVision. It's OK. And then I like to select all the cameras, and press OK. Make sure there's a check mark next to rebuild all information and then click search hard disks. Now this does take quite some time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video. Once it's finished, I'll show you what it does. Okay, so we've done the database repair. Now I don't technically have any videos on this computer, so it says can't find any event time. Uh, in a normal situation, it would say database repair completed. Just go ahead and press OK. Press exit. And I'm just going to press OK. The only reason it wasn't able to is because I don't have video files. But if you did, that would be the process that you would do. Then you just restart your multicam system. And now all your videos and everything will be inside of the GeoVision program. Or inside of the... Uh, the view log, I'm sorry. And that is a complete uninstall, reinstall, setup, and database repair. Following this process is pretty advanced and it should only be used technically by more advanced users or people familiar with the Windows operating system. And I hope this tutorial helps you and please visit us at www.palmvid.com.